Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we are going to be using some non-holiday themed stamps to make holiday themed cards. I also have some tips and tricks in here to really drive home the holiday feel of a card when using some non-holiday themed stamps. So we're going to be using the Succulent Banner stamp set. So it's got this really beautiful banner image with all the succulents and cactus, and it's got some really great sentiments as well, and some that fit right in the banner. I'm going to be using this Buffalo plaid piece of patterned paper on a piece of tone tan cardstock. And this is the first tip that I have that will really drive home that holiday feel is to use some holiday themed pattern paper. I know a lot of times I tend to forget about pattern paper on my cards. I really like to make my own backgrounds, but sometimes for things, especially like this, it's really great to pull them in every now and then. So I'm going to be using my mini Misty and this is for a few reasons. One, this stamp is very large, so I don't know that I have very many acrylic blocks that will fit it, but also I'm going to be double stamping my stamp and I'll do that in a little bit and I'll show you why. But the first thing I'm going to do is ink up my stamp with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be doing some Copic coloring. And Memento ink is Copic safe or alcohol marker safe, meaning that the alcohol in the ink for the marker won't make the ink that you've stamped it with run. So now I'm going to apply even pressure all around the stamp all of the little nooks and crannies, there are quite a bit of lines in the stamp. So I want to make sure that I get a really nice clean image and impression. And I do notice how I am not removing the stamp from the Misty. This is very important because we will be stamping again later on in the video. So I am going to speed this up in just a minute and I will be putting the Copic marker colors in the description if you are interested, but basically I choose three colors for each a cactus or bloom or leaf that I am uh, choosing or coloring and that is for a shade tone or a shadow tone a mid tone and then my lightest or highlight tone and basically I want it to look a little bit dimensional I want a lot of depth to be in the images or as much as I can and for me choosing three to four colors per image really drives that home this is my second tip for creating holiday themed cards with non holiday themed stamps is just to make sure that you choose the right colors for your holiday. So I'm thinking Thanksgiving or Christmas for this card. So I'm going to be choosing some really deep tones. So I've chosen a pretty dark green as my shade color for the cactus. And for these leaves here to the left, I would normally have chosen a green, but because we're going with a fall theme or a winter theme, I'm going to do yellows and oranges. And then for the flowers themselves, instead of a bright pink flower, which you would normally picture on top of a cactus, I'm going to be using a really rich, deep red. R59 is such a beautiful Christmas red tone to me. So I wanted to make sure that I used that and balanced it out with R24, which is a nice bright red. This can be really important when coloring in images for non-holiday stamps when you're trying to make holiday cards. It really is all about where your mind goes. And for floral stamps especially, if you're trying to make them holiday themed, the color is really what makes it. So I'm going to go ahead and slow you down here for just a moment because I'm going to be coloring in my banner now and I'm using the colors E33, E21, and E00. Notice how I am using E33, my darkest tone, on the very, very ends of my banner and then that banner that comes behind it so it sort of looks like it's in movement. I'm using my darkest tone on the very ends my mid-tone a little bit farther in, and then I'm using that lightest E00 tone to go ahead and color in my entire banner. This will give the effect of a rounded banner or as if it's in movement. Had I colored it all just one shade, it wouldn't have any really movement, any real movement, and it wouldn't have a lot of depth to it. So this makes it look as if it actually is wrapped around that cactus and floral feature. Here is where we are going to go in and stamp this a second and final time. 
I'm done with my Copic coloring, but obviously I've gone over some of those lines and I want to bring them out again and make sure that the black lines are really crisp in the image. So I'm going in again and because I didn't move the stamp, it's in the same exact place on the paper and on the Misty. So I'm just going to ink it up again in Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I will go ahead and close the door to give it one final impression. It comes out really beautifully and I love the way that it just makes the entire image look crisp and clean and it almost makes it look like it came like that when you stamp it again. If you wanted to make them even darker, you could stamp it a second or third time, but I think the re-stamping just one time is plenty for me. I'm going to be using this thankful uh, word and the word fits right into that banner and I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my acrylic block and I'm going to ink this up in Versafine Onyx Black ink. That's my favorite ink to use for sentiments, usually because I like to stamp my sentiment with a block. That way I can just have a good feel of where I'd like it, especially on a banner like this. And you want it to be done the first time. You can't really re-stamp a sentiment or if you've tried, you know that's very hard. And so I just wanna make sure that I get that nice first impression and that's why I use Versafine Onyx Black. So I've gone ahead and die cut it out and now I'm putting some foam tape on the back of my cactus image that I've die cut. And I'm going to place it right in the center of my buffalo plaid pattern paper. I get it where I want it, but if you don't push it down, you can move it slightly. Just make sure that you don't press it down or put any pressure on the foam tape until you're ready. I'm going to adhere this to my A2 size card base with a toned tan card base. And I'm going to use some glue to do that just so I can make sure that I get it nice and even in the center. And that's it. I've added some of these twinkle star uh, sequins that I love. And I think that they remind me of holiday stars sort of. So I really like that. All of the products I have used today are in the description. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much. Bye.